We've conducted a very successful mission to this point, and we expect to uh, go to the completion of the mission as planned, uh, with a little treat in store for us as we go forward beyond that over the next uh, set, uh, two and three weeks. I have a few very fascinating images for you. This is a picture of Odie on the surface of the moon, touching down with its engine firing. You see here the, the landing gear piece is broken off there on the left of the image. The landing gear did what it was supposed to do and protect the lander as it landed on the surface. The engine plume interaction with the surface, surface gives us this excellent view of how the ejecta, the regolith, moves away from the plume interaction. There's scientific information in that data right there. What you don't see in this picture is that we landed, our navigation system landed us with precision and landed us softly on the moon. The shock absorbers took the load and the lander now tilted over gently and we think it's about 30 degrees and uh, communicating um, all the way down uh, uh, to Earth. This picture shows the fisheye lens uh, kind of view of, and all of the data that's within the, how we're able to give you the images we have. Um, all the data is there in this wide angle view. And here we are, how Odie conducted the brilliant six day mission on the surface. You see the, the gold foil blanket is the helium tank. You see that we've, uh, we're tilted over slightly, still more upright than we initially thought. We did land upright, we captured data, and then we tilted over slowly in about two seconds and came to rest either on the opposite helium tank or a computer shelf, and were able to communicate, get all six payloads data back, plus all the commercial payloads, and continue to transmit um, as we go forward. Um, brilliant uh, performance by a small lunar lander and a brilliant uh, commercial company called Intuitive Machine.